Hi, Teacher Laurel here. How are you? Today we're going to talk about apples. Apples are so yummy. So we're going to learn about apples. And you know what color they are? They, yeah, they're red. You're right. Apples are red. I'm wearing red today. And look at my apple back there. That's a big apple. Yeah, it sure is. Okay, well, I want to read you guys a book today. And this book is called One Little, Two Little, Three Little Apples. And it's by Matt Ringler and it's illustrated by Ann Kennedy. So let's see what our book says today about apples. I think I might even sing a little bit of it. One little, two little, three little apples. Four little, five little, six little apples. Let's, here's the picture. Okay, here we keep going. Seven little, eight little, nine little apples. Ten little apples all in a row. Look at all the apples. There's ten. Let's go outside while mom and dad prepare. They're going to make something. They're going to rake the leaves. The kids are raking the leaves outside. Jump in the piles. Wash the apples. Mix the batter. Batter up. Pitch the ball. Ten. And now I'm going to sing backwards. Ten little, nine little, eight little apples. They're starting to disappear. Mom and dad are making something yummy. Seven little, six little, five little apples. Four little, three little, two little apples. Here's that picture again. One little apple added to the pie. Yum. Ooh, they're making a delicious pie. Bake in the oven. Cool on the window. Smells so good. Something smells good. Race you inside. Wash your hands. Set the table. The family is together. We eat our favorite season's treat. It's an apple pie. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Have you ever had an apple pie? Yeah, they're good, aren't they? Guess what? We're going to try to make a pretend apple pie right now. So I am first going to put on my apron. This is an apron and you can wear it when you cook so that you don't get your clothes messy. And we have our bowl and our whisk. That way we go like this and we can mix up our pretend ingredients. So let's add, I have my eggs here. Have you ever cracked an egg? Oh, it's fun. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. And you gotta be really careful. 
because they can make a mess too. So let's get our pretend egg out. Here it is. We're gonna go crack, 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 crack. Whoa, watch. Ooh, we cracked our egg and we put it in our bowl for pretend. Now we're gonna get our liquid. Let's pour it in. Yum. Okay, now where's my salt? Here's my salt. We're gonna put our salt in our bowl. Ready? Oh, yummy. And guess what else we need? Well, we need to go like this. And then we're gonna pour it in our bowl, our mixing bowl. So let's pour it in. Ready? Mmm. Our apple pie batter is in here. And now, I have a little mixer right here, and we're gonna put this in. Oops, gotta push that button so it goes down. And then, there we go. Let me see if I can turn it on. Whoa, do you hear that? It's mixing our batter all together to make a delicious pie crust. All right, thank you, mixer. Now, we get out our apple, we get out our crust, and we're, I'm gonna do this with Play-Doh. You can do it at home with Play-Doh too. You get a big chunk of Play-Doh and you start pushing it into your pie pan. So this one smells like cinnamon. Oh, it smells so good. So we push it in there. And what do we need to add to make an apple pie? You know, if you want to, if you don't want to just push it with your hand, you can use a rolling pin. Yeah, and you just go roll, 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 and it makes it flat. Now, yeah, we need apples, don't we? Okay, well, let's get our apples out, and I want to count them with you. So, normally we would cut them up, but we're just going to put them in here like that. One, can you count with me? Two three, four, five, six, whoa, six, seven, there's a green apple. And I have three more, eight, nine, and 10. We have 10 little apples. Let's sing our song. One little, two little, three little apples, four little, five little, six little apples, seven little, eight little, nine little apples, 10 little apples in our apple pie. Mmm, that's gonna be so yummy. So we're gonna put it in the oven. All right, apple pie. Enjoy baking, and when we take it out, we're gonna use our mitt to take it out of the oven. And usually our mommy or our grandma or someone who's taking care of us is the one that gets it out of the oven, because ovens are hot. But they'll use a mitt when they help us get our apple pie out of the oven. All right, so I was thinking about an apple pie. And I thought about the ingredients, and I thought about apples, and I thought about what would taste yummy. And so we all have different thoughts. And you have some thoughts about things that you like to eat. And I have different thoughts about what I like to eat. So I was thinking about apple pie. Now, I want to see how you're feeling today. Here's our little heart. And we wanna see how we're feeling. So I have some pictures here. This one says calm, calm and relaxed. That's a nice feeling. This one says happy, I'm feeling happy. And this one says sad, sometimes we feel sad. How are you feeling today? Happy? Oh, I'm glad you're feeling happy, yeah happy and you're feeling 
happy. Sometimes we feel sad. Sometimes if we miss somebody, we might feel sad. It's okay to feel sad. You just need to give yourself a hug and it will help you feel happy again. Okay, now what I wanna do is I have a little puzzle and this puzzle is about fall. And in fall, we can grow all sorts of vegetables and fruit. We have our apple tree up here. We have our orange tree right there. We have our pumpkins down here. Yeah, pumpkins are coming up, huh? I just bought a pumpkin and put it on my front doorstep. We have our lettuce growing over here. And we have corn. Corn is yummy if you have corn on the cob. Mm. And potatoes. Potatoes are yummy too with butter and sour cream. Okay, so let's put our puzzle pieces back in. There's our potatoes. Not there. Oh, there's potatoes. Okay, it goes in there with potatoes. Here's corn. Where's our corn? Not down here. Up here. There's our corn. Put our corn in. Here's our lettuce lettuce and it goes right there do you see a pumpkin on here where would pumpkins go yeah you're right there's a pumpkin right there so we'll put that in there now i have oranges oh no not there those are apples whoops we're going to put our oranges over here in the little orange spot and i'm going to put my lettuce back up that fell out Finally, we have apples. Yep, there's one spot left where that big apple is. And then it goes right there. So we did our little fall vegetable and fruit puzzle. That's fun to do. I have one more thing to show you guys. I have an apple and I'm gonna tell you a story. One time there was this little boy and he didn't have anything to do. And he says, Mom, I don't have anything to do. I already cleaned my room. And there's what else can I do? And Mom said, Hey, go find a little red house that has no windows and no doors, but it has a star inside. He's like, where do I find that? She said, go out and look. So he ran outside and he found Grandpa. And he said, Grandpa, do you know where there's a little red house? with no windows and no doors, but a star inside? He said, I don't know, but why don't you go ask the wise old lady that lives up on the hill? So the little boy went running up the hill and he said, Miss old lady, can you help me? I'm looking for a little red house with no windows and no doors, but star, a star inside. And she said, go down to the trees down below in the orchard. And I think you'll find your little red house with no windows and no doors, but a star inside. And he went running down. And you know what he found on the ground? Under where the orchard trees, the apple trees, he found an apple. Yes, a beautiful apple. Just like my beautiful apple back there. And it was red and he said, that's a little house with no windows and no doors, but I don't see the star inside. Well, this is what he decided to do. He decided to cut the apple and look inside. So I have my safety knife here that had a cover on it. I'm gonna cut the apple down the middle. And look what's inside our apple. Do you see it? It's a star star inside. Yeah, there's a star inside every apple and you can find it too if you have an apple at home and then you can eat your apple and that would be great. Okay, well the last thing I have today is the letter A which is what apple starts with. So, ah, ah, can you say that? Ah, ah, good. Apple starts with the letter A. Ah, apple. Nice. Okay. Ant. Ant starts with the letter A. Here's my ant. Yeah, I don't really like to see ants. 
But that starts with the letter A. A, A, ant. And apron. Yeah, when you wear a little apron, when you cook, that starts with the letter A. Apron. A, apron. Okay, and then I have airplane. Airplane starts with the letter A. Good job, you guys. I'm so glad you joined me today and have fun cooking. Maybe you can make an apple pie with your caretaker and, and count your apples and you can cut it in half and find the star inside. And you might even be able to count the seeds that are inside. I remember when I was little, they, my parents used to tell me and my grandparents used to tell me an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So I ate an apple almost every day and stayed pretty healthy. So and apples are good for you. Well, I'm glad you joined me today and I want to um, invite you to come back next time. And if you like these videos, uh, you can press like and subscribe. And that way I'll know that I should keep making more story time videos for you. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye. Mmm. -bye.